Blessed and happy Wednesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans, today is July 5th, 2023, and today is Wednesday within the 13th week in Ordinary Time. And our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. Our Gospel for today highlights the authority and the power of Jesus over evil spirits. According to the story, these two men possessed by the devil was very violent. They're very dangerous, threatening that no one dared to pass that way. But when Jesus passed by, the gospel says, they tremble in fear. Three things that I would like to share with you today. Number one, the gospel is telling us that Jesus is the weakness of the devil. And Jesus came here to liberate us from any evil influences. God came to set us free from any diabolic possessions that prevents us from doing what is right and prevent us from doing what is good. Jesus is here to destroy the influence of evil, to cut that relationship between evil and Jesus setting us free. Friends, seek good and avoid evil that you may live. Avoid evil, stay away from anything that is evil because their plan is only to destroy ourselves and to make our life miserable. The plan of the devil is to make us like pigs, meaning to say, to make our life dirty. The devil exists to harm us. But do not be afraid. Why? Because, this is the second point that I would like to share. Because Jesus is more powerful and stronger than any demons combined together. Pope Francis once said, Around us, there is a presence of evil. But the Pope says, the devil is at work. But in a loud voice, I say, says Pope Francis, God is stronger. Friends, God is powerful, stronger than any evil. And finally, at the end part of the gospel, it says, you know, the whole town went to meet Jesus and, and when they saw him, they beg, you know, they plead to him to leave their region, to leave their town. Why? Because of a very simple and basic thing. Mas pinili nila ang kanilang kabuhayan kay sa kay Jesus. Naubos ang mga baboy. The pigs went into the sea. You know? That's why Jesus was driven out of the town. And it is a sad reality because people choose pigs than Jesus. Pigs may represent our jobs, may represent our relationships, may represent our attachments. Pigs may represent our connections, our investments. And they want, to, they want Jesus to leave because they lost their business. For them, their business is more important than Jesus. And this is the most horrible things to man's life. If we prioritize other things than Jesus. If we abandon Jesus, if we forget Jesus because of what we have. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, let me add my reflection by saying, Never trade Jesus for pigs. I say it again. 
Never trade Jesus for your job. Never exchange him with your relationships. Never trade him with your attachments, with your investments, and with your connections. Because if you have Jesus, you have everything. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed. Amen.